Listen up, teachers, have I got a great tool for you. If you love creating your own resources for your classroom, decorating, maybe you're a TPT seller, or maybe you just enjoy adding your own personal touch to your slides, you are not gonna wanna miss this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel from the Behavior Check-In. I am a behavior teacher and coach in Florida. And today I'm going to tell you about a great new site that I am absolutely loving and using to help me create resources for my students. It is Creative Fabrica and I am just in love. The one thing that's really cool about the site is this feature called AI Spark and it allows you to do AI generated writing prompts, AI generated visuals, and it's really cool. So we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you around and tell you about some of the really neat features that Creative Fabrica has to offer and I really think you're gonna like it. Like I didn't know about it before, but I'm definitely hooked. So we're gonna go ahead, jump in, and I'm gonna show you around a little bit. All right, so here we are on the Creative Fabrica site. Um, I really, really love this site. You know, to be honest, I did not know a lot about Creative Fabrica until they reached out to me and I got in here and played around and oh my gosh, I'm in love. Like I didn't know this existed and it would have been a game changer before if I had and it's gonna be a game changer now. So basically with Creative Fabrica, you are able to do a lot of really cool things. One of the big programs I'm gonna show you that they're really pushing out that I'm super excited about is CF Spark. So CF Spark is an AI image generator. This creates images that are 100% unique. So whatever you create for your teaching materials or whether you use Teachers Pay Teachers, this is gonna be unique to you. Nobody else will have it. So users, you can try this out for free. Um, you get all access free trial and then later you can roll that in with a monthly $9 subscription. So with that $9 subscription, you're going to get a thousand speed credits and I'm gonna show you how you use those in a minute. And that'll allow you to jump to the head of the queue which makes things go a lot faster if you're impatient like me because we are all short on time. And then you will also, with the subscription, be able to download your own creation and here's the kicker, with your own commercial license. So as long as you keep your membership and all of that, you can use that, make your commercial license that you have forever, and you can use that for your teachers pay teachers, any products that you might have, anything you wanna create, or if you wanna create like teacher merch, t-shirts, whatever you wanna do, or just for your fun and your own hobbies, you have that option. So if you come in here, of course, you can see that we have fonts. Um, there are so many cool fonts that you can use um, that would just be gorgeous for anything you wanted to do in your classroom. Um, labels, cute arts, um, t-shirts, like I said, and there's thousands and thousands of options and they're always being added, which is really cool. Then we have graphics, things that we can do for at home. They have coloring books, which is really cool. If you want to make some coloring pages for your students, I know my students really like to have coloring pages to do for like brain breaks or if they need to like cool down or something like that. And just so many cute options that I, I just find them all really adorable. And um, you know, just different things you can make like 3D if you want to do flowers, seasons, all sorts of different stuff. You really got to get in here and just check out all the cool stuff. One thing I think teachers really like too is we do have some teaching materials on here that with your membership you get access to. So you can look through here and pick whatever you want and um, use them as well for any kind of thing you want in your classroom, which is really cool. Like this little clock book. This is great if you know you're teaching in the classroom or if you're homeschooling or if you want supplemental materials for your kids, whatever. It's just awesome. So what I'm gonna show you today though, cause like we have all these other things on here, but I really want you to check them out for yourself. But I'm gonna show you Spark because this is the big thing that just started and they're kind of pushing this out for everybody to go check out. And I'm super excited about this. So I have been playing around on here. I have a lot of different creations cause I've been trying to figure it out so that I could show you correctly. Um, but you can go in here and create art. And this is really cool because with this feature, 
You can take pictures that you already have and turn them into coloring pages if you want to, uh, watercolor, all of that stuff. So there's that feature. But then the other thing too is if you want certain things for what activity you're doing, you can go ahead and put them into the AI generator up here, type them in, and it'll create your images. Now I've created some already. Sometimes they turn out really cute and sometimes like they need a little bit more additional practice. But I had some down here that I thought turned out like really cute that I wanted to share with you. I was doing some with kids on cell phones. I really love these images. These turned out really cool. And I think it was because I was pretty specific in the prompt that I put in there. But I have kids working on recycling. This is the photograph option. But I thought this would be like really cute if I wanted to do like a worksheet for students, um, something, a graphic on a slide. I really liked it. So I'm going to publish this one. So what we do is we click publish. Now publish it takes a little bit of time. You got to wait about five minutes. But when you're done, you can see your finished image and you can download it. Now I've had a couple that I've already published. I have a new Frenchie puppy, so we did some Frenchie puppy pictures up here and I think they turned out super duper cute. I'll show you why that one is publishing. I'll show you what the opened one looks like. So this is the one that I've um, created and I absolutely love this. This would be so cute. Um, like just a picture to have in the house. But uh, I can go ahead and down that. Uh, I can go ahead and download this and um, save that for whatever. And this is the sketch feature. I can share it with the community. I can post my products, um, use it any way that I want to. So I think that's cool. I could go ahead and put that on a slide or whatever. So let's go back in. My other um, thing that I did should be open. But I love this. This is completely unique. Nobody else is going to have it. All right. So we have published this item, these cute kids with their recycling. And this is what we have right here. And this is just this is super cute for a slide or whatever we need to use it for. I could use it for a cute little story, anything like that. So I could put in here, hmm, what should we do? Um, teen agers, various, let's put teenagers, boys and girls walking to class wearing backpacks and talking together. All right, let's say if I wanna do it as like a coloring page. So I'll click that option and then I'll hit ignite. And you can see like this is me hanging out in queue. So you can see the kids right here. It gave me different um, variations. I have black and white. I got my pictures right over here. Then I also have a coloring page that I wanted to use. So I think that's really cool that it gave me that. Um, another feature that I really like, and I will go ahead and show you if you go into the Spark, is create texts. So this is really cool. Um, you can do all sorts of things like you can do Etsy listings, greeting cards, emails, game changer if you send out a lot of automated types of emails, um, greeting cards, blog posts, whatever. So um, if you wanted to come up with an idea title for an article, article headlines, all of these things, it will give you those. So we're going to do a full article. All right, I already kind of started one originally when I was playing around just seeing what would come up. So let's try a new one. So we're gonna put in the name of our article, um, classroom management tips for new teachers. All right, so we're gonna use the AI and it'll go ahead and generate an article title. Then I can use the AI and it'll generate 
kind of an outline, which I think is really cool if I wanted to write on my own. It could give me a starting point. If I wanted to take it a step further though, and I wanted to create an article, I could hit create article. And we just wait for it to load. These are where these um, cue points really help you out, the speed points, it makes it go a little bit faster. Ta-da! We have a whole article right here that you could utilize, which I think is really cool. The way that it sets everything out. And this is great if you wanted to do um, like a reading prompt for your students or if you wanted to write something out yourself. And then of course, you know, it is generated by an AI and it's not the way that maybe I would purpose, like the way that I'd want to write it exactly. but. It gives me a starting point with what I can work on and I can go back in and add my own spin to it and just make it more like me, which I think is just, it's really cool. Really, really cool. And I do really love like the essay um, outline option. I think that's really cool just to help you when you're, when you're struggling, trying to figure out where you're going to start. Um, email options, that sort of thing. And of course, if you are a seller on like Etsy or TPT, you can use it to help you write product listings, which I think is a game changer for teachers that do teachers pay teachers. Just makes it a whole lot easier easier to use. Another thing that's really cool is it does have classes on here. So, you know, if you need more uh, tips and tricks on how to use it, you can go ahead and go through here and they will show you everything that you need. All these little classes that you can go ahead and watch and they'll show you how to make these different crafts, how to use it with your Cricut, illustrating, like even way more than what I've just given you. But Really the big thing is just getting this out and showing you all the cool things you can do with it. But look at this, look at it. It's like a plethora of different options. And I'm really excited. Like I just cannot wait till summer because I'm really gonna dive into this hardcore. Resin, clays, crochet. This is amazing. We've got even more classes, just all sorts of different things that you can use. So and thank you so much for checking this out. Hopefully you like Creative Fabrica as much as I do. I found it really interesting, really love the whole AI generated uh, portrait option and writing option. I think this is gonna be really a game changer when it comes to creating resources in my classroom and just streamlining things. I do stuff on Instagram, social media. I also do things for teacher pace teachers. So I really do think that this is gonna be a very helpful tool for me and I think it will be for you. So if you really like this and you want to go ahead and check out my link below, um, I do get a percentage if you go ahead and sign up, which I really would appreciate, but no pressure if you don't want to. But I really hope you check this out. I think that you will find it to be a great and helpful tool, whether you're doing things for teaching, crafting, just for hobbies, social media, whatever your interests are. Once again, thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching my video. If you could, please like, subscribe, and share. This really does help my channel and thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest.